Hi Phil, welcome to Holy Habitus and today I'd like to do a book review. I don't do these very often but I just thought I'd like to really recommend you this book Dirty Glory which I've just finished reading this morning. Um, I read it compulsively. It's by a guy called Pete Gregg uh, who you may know as the uh, as one of the founders, I think he puts it as the one of the bewildered founders or champions uh, of the 24-7 prayer movement. And this is the sequel to his book Red Moon Rising which I read uh, many years ago and uh, which I found very inspiring then. This is just as if not more inspiring, uh, Dirty Glory, it's called Go Where Your Best Prayers Take You and I think that strapline sums up the thrust of the book. Um, it's played out in the theology of the Paders but also in the raw uh, lived out experience of, of, of Pete and uh, of his friends who have journeyed with him over these last uh, this last decade or so um, as part of the 24-7 prayer movement and uh, I just found it a really inspiring and stirring book that made me believe again in the power of prayer. He puts in there at one point, pray with ambition, pray with adventurous imagination. There is no better measure of the person you are becoming than the way you are praying right now. And I realised that I, I, up until this point I'd, I'd kind of, my prayer life had become a bit predictable, a bit mundane, a bit calloused over. And this book has stirred up in me a desire to pray again with greater fervour and expectation that God can and will work. And um, I, I just I just found it very inspiring and I think you would as well. Um, we, we, need to, we need to get down on our knees more. We need to pray with expectation. We need to journey back to Jesus. And I, I felt like this book summarised for me a kind of a firm place to stand in our current uh, culture. Um, a place where we could so easily, and what we often do is try to throw ourselves into frenetic activity to try to counteract the sort of decline of the church. Whereas this book paints a vision of actually getting close to the heart of God uh, and then just going with that, following your best prayers, as it were. So I'd really thoroughly recommend it to you. It's a book that woke me up. Um, I felt like I'd been sleepwalking a little bit. And in terms of my prayer life, um, but also in terms of justice and mission and things that it talks about there, it really got me thinking, uh, waking up. It, it was a rousing book. Uh, he talks in there about the scripture, wake up, O sleep, and rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. And I think that sums it up quite nicely. So uh, buy this book, buy it for your friends, read it if you'd like to be woken up a bit in your faith and, uh, and to grow in expectation in your prayer life and see where that might take you in the days to come. So come to my thorough recommendation. Enjoy.